Hey, what's good, everybody? You already know what it is. It's your boy, the 12th man, giving you guys another gameplay commentary today. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day so far. Today, in the background, you'll be seeing some Destiny gameplay because today's video is going to be about Destiny. It's been a while since I posted a Destiny video on my channel, but it is what it is. I've been making videos and other games, but I'm just about ready to put Destiny back in the lineup. So, yeah, today's video is going to be a Destiny video, and in today's Destiny video, I'm going to be giving you guys another Destiny WOC video. For all of you guys who don't know what this series is on my channel, basically I take a weapon in Destiny, I do a review on it, and then I let you guys know whether or not the weapon is good to use or not. And then I want you guys in the comment section below to comment down what weapon I should review next. And when you leave that comment, make sure you put in the hashtag DestinyWOC after you leave that comment. So yeah, make sure you do that. So yeah guys, that's basically what this series is, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the weapon review. The weapon that I have decided to do a review on today is the Iron Banner Auto Rifle known as the Hakan's Hatchet. I think it's correctly pronounced the Hakan's Hatchet because it has two A's, but then again, I'm not 100% sure, so I'm just going to call it the Hakan's Hatchet for the time being. But the Hakan's Hatchet is an Iron Banner auto rifle. It is in the same archetype as the Doctrine of Passing and the Arminius D. It is a high rate of fire, low impact auto rifle. You can get this auto rifle from playing in the Iron Banner and you can get it from a drop. Or if Lord Saladin is selling it, you can buy it from him. This review will be based on the Hakan's hatchet that I got from Lord Saladin in the last Iron Banner. And the roll on this auto rifle was basically a god roll. It was a very good roll on this auto rifle. And I really want to show you guys the perks that came with this auto rifle. Like, if you didn't buy this weapon from the last Iron Banner, you really did miss out. Because, like I said, this is basically a god roll for this weapon. So, let's go ahead and get into the perks of this weapon. So... So let's first look at the site. So the first site that we have is the red.oas, which helps with the target acquisition of this weapon. The next one we have is the quick draw is, which helps with the handling. And the last one we have is the focus lens. Now I would go with either the red dot or the OAS. It would make this weapon a lot more easier to handle in PVP because this is a PVP weapon. I would not recommend using this weapon in PVE at all. So yeah, this is definitely a PVP weapon and these two scopes will really help you in the crucible. The first perk that we have is range finder, which means aiming this weapon increases its effective range. This is a very good perk to have for an auto rifle of this archetype. Uh, the next few perks that we have is perfect balance, which means this weapon has extremely low recoil. The next one is a pendant magazine, which increases the magazine size, but you have a slow reload speed. The last one we have is a reinforced barrel, which increases the range but reduces the stability. And the last perk we have is counterbalance, which increases the weapon stability. So that's a very good perk to have. So this is a very good roll for this auto rifle. Like I said, if you missed out on Lord Saladin um, selling this weapon in the last Iron Banner, you really didn't miss out on a good auto rifle. So yeah, the perks on that weapon are very, very good. And now I'm gonna get into whether or not I believe this auto rifle is a good weapon. Now, I do believe the Hakan's Hatchet is a great PVP auto rifle. It's very fun to use. It's one of my favorite auto rifles to use in the game. But there's a question that I want to answer in this video. Is this gun better or just as good as the Doctrine of Passing? The answer to this question is yes and no. Now, real quickly, I'm going to compare these two auto rifles. So as you can see, the Doctrine of Passing has a higher rate of fire. It has less impact and less range, the same amount of stability and a higher reload speed than the Hakan's Hatchet. Now, I think the Hakan's Hatchet is a better auto rifle when it comes to long range encounters because the Hakan's Hatchet has way more range than the Doctrine of Passing. However, if you go up against someone using a Doctrine of Passing at close range, 
they're probably going to outgun you 95% of the time. The Doctrine of Passing is one of the best close range weapons to use in the Crucible. It's probably up there with the last word. It melts at close range. So I think the Hakan's Hatchet is a better auto rifle to use in long range gunfights, but at close range gunfights, Doctrine of Passing wins hands down. But with that being said, the Hakan's Hatchet is still a very good auto rifle to use. I have not used it in Trials, I have yet to use it in Iron Banner because I got it when Iron Banner ended, so I'll probably use it in the next Iron Banner, but I would definitely recommend picking up this weapon if Lord Saladin sells it again. And if you get one in a drop, just take a look at all the perks, if it has a really good roll for stability, then I would definitely keep it and use it because this is probably one of the best auto rifles in the game. So yeah, I would highly recommend using the Hakan's Hatchet but that's basically the end of this video thank you all so much for watching very short video i just wanted to make this quick review on the hakan's hatchet uh, don't miss out on this weapon if lord saladin sells it again if it has a really good roll on it go ahead and pick that thing up because it's a very good auto rifle to use so yeah um, make sure you leave a comment down below what you guys think about this video if you do own the hakan's hatchet let me know in the comment section below what you think about the weapon also let me know which weapon i should make a review on on next make sure you put in the hashtag destiny WOC when you make that comment uh, if you like the video please hit the like button let's try to get this thing up to 15 likes or more that will be highly appreciated subscribe for more videos on destiny or any other games I post and I'll catch all of you guys on the flip thanks for watching peace